If you have a cookie problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but I cook is not one. I got the bouncy roll on the back patrol. Well, well, well. I hate to say I told you so. <laughs> but here we are, two weeks later, after the release of the best first person shooter of all time. Of all time. <laughs> and people are already bored with it. Yeah. It has taken less than a month for people to get bored and tired with Titanfall. I I personally expected at least a month before that happened, but you can just tell how irrelevant this game is already. No one <laughs> watches this game on YouTube. It's, it's basically dead on YouTube. The game is born to watch. No one cares about YouTube. I know probably a bunch of little channels because I know a bunch a bunch of smaller channels probably thought that their, ch their channel could blow up from Titanfall because of all the hype behind it. They thought it was going to be like the next Call of Duty. You know how Call of Duty um, blew up on YouTube and people's channel grew from um, Call of Duty. No. No. Not this game. This game was just all hype. <laughs> and it's irrelevant on YouTube. No one cares for it on YouTube. Unless you're a big channel and you have a fan base and y y your channel's not going to grow from, um, ti from Titanfall. I'm sorry. So for all the people who bought Titanfall hoping that their little channels will blow up yeah <laughs> you mad but other than that oh yeah twitch twitch too no one is even watching that shit on twitch call call of duty ghosts <laughs> still has more viewers and even black ops 2 is up there with viewers on um, with timefall which is sad which is sad <laughs> and the reason i even mentioned twitch i just remember that is because they released the xbox one stream feature the same day that Titanfall came out. Yeah. But anyway, shout out to all the people who bought into the hype for Titanfall. I gotta give a little shout out to y'all. A lot of people who actually went out and bought an Xbox One to just to play this game. Paid $500 just to play this game. And there's a reason why Microsoft delayed the Xbox 360 version. <laughs> because they knew all of you sheep. You know, all the people who bought into the hype will go out and buy Xbox Ones just to play this crap. Like, people actually listen to the quote-unquote expert reviewers, you know, out there. Like IGN, GameSpot, and oh my god, Adam Sessler. Adam Sessler, who gave this game a 5 out of 5. A 5 out of 5 means that there was nothing wrong with this game. Nothing wrong with this game. <laughs> I don't even think that The Last of Us deserves a perfect score. And y'all know y'all know how I feel about that game. That game had flaws that, um itself when it came to like the AI and the campaign and shit. These quote unquote expert reviewers that say ridiculous shit like Titanfall reinvents what it feels like to play a competitive shooter. Really? Really? Like how am I supposed to take that that shit seriously and not think these niggas are like paid off? Seriously. All of these expert reviewers left out the main problem out of their reviews with this game and a lot of people had are having this problem this game is a $60 multiplayer only game they claim to they claim to have a campaign in it but that that trash isn't a campaign stop it that's not a campaign but this is a 60 multi $60 multiplayer only game that lacks content there are free to play games with more content than this shit the only thing that I can say that there is in this game are the 15 maps that's good and that is to be expected i shouldn't be sitting here celebrating the fact that this game has 15 multiplayer maps it's a 60 dollars multiplayer only game that should be expected the game only has five game modes it had attrition domination and last time standing um in the beta so all they added in the final game was um uh, pilot hunter and catch the flag um, the game only has 10 primary weapons, and that's including the smart pistol. Yeah, that amazing gun that locks onto people. Gotta love it. <laughs> um, um, the game has no customization for the pilots, uh, no weapon customizations, no tying customization. Uh, the only thing you could basically customize is either, whether you're a male or female, your gender basically it the game doesn't even have private private matches private lobbies a multiplayer only game has no private matches <laughs> the game doesn't have like well, what else i think of 
like clients, clan support, like little clan emblems, shit like that, like little BS shit like like that that a multiplayer only game should have. Am, am I right or am I or am I just asking for too much that for a game that is full price? <laughs> I don't I don't understand. And the two other big first person shooter games that I'm sure Respawn is trying to compete with, um, Call of Duty and Battlefield, have a lot more extra content and <laughs> they have real single player campaigns not that bs online <laughs> campaign that they want to throw, throw out there like it's a camp it's not a campaign like i would have preferred if they had like a horde type mode in the game like how cold did it with the zombies and shit Some, something like that along the line something multiplayer co-op or whatever something extra in the game the game just doesn't feel like it has content in it <laughs> um what else oh yeah they um promise before before the game came out i think they promised yeah they promised that there will be no microtransactions that was cool and then they turn around and then they say oh there's a season pass for 30 dollars it was 30 25 dollars or 30 dollars but either way they turned around and say that there's a season pass for the game and i think it's supposed to include maps and some new weapons and i'm hoping that one of the new weapons is a smart sniper you know you just aim in and it locks into the person the person's head yeah, that that will reinvent the way we play um competitive online shooters, right? Reinvent it, right? <laughs> but I just want to know why wasn't these things in the game to begin with? It's a freaking sixty dollar multiplayer only game. Like people need, really need to stop accepting and defending this BS because this will eventually if this, if people keep accepting all this crap, it will become a trend, and developers will keep releasing garbage multiplayer only games like Titanfall that lacks content and they price it at sixty dollars i said it before and i'll say it again this game should have been free to play or maybe even fifteen dollars it's it's just not worth it and i can't wait to see the fanboys defend the lack of content in this game it, it, it'll, it'll amuse me it will but <laughs> i'm done ranting i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comments below about this uh leave a like on the video or a dislike if you're mad <laughs> and subscribe to my channel for future videos and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.